Welcome back. Good morning, sexy. We just got home from Puerto Rico. It's been a long, crazy trip. We woke up, we were getting ready to go work on the new snake building, and guess what? Got a snake call. Diamondback, first thing in the morning. Cute little Diamondback. We are racing out there. We're gonna go catch this snake, then get back. We got some cool stuff to show you. We got so many updates. We got a snake shed update. We got an animal add-on. New animal, new, new addition. Animal. We got a lot of updates, and I had so much fun doing Would You Rather with you guys, so now every video, oh, no. we're gonna play Would You oh, Rather. Oh, no, no, why? Question. <laughs> it won't be that bad. I'm still waking up, so you gotta give me time to think of one. I gotta think of a nasty, nasty, so. No, we can't. <sighs> well, almost not nasty, nasty, but whatever, right? I'm waking up. We'll do that in a little bit. I hope you guys are ready to suffer. Let's go on the snake call, and then stay tuned for the rest of the video. Oh, yeah, look at him. What a funny... One funny spot. Probably crossing through. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I would have picked it up. That's wild. Look, if you picked it up, you'd be like, hey. Hey, little buddy. That's a little female. He's little. Yeah. Cool. Did you want to get a close look at him before I put him in the tub? You can come look at him. He's not getting away. Come take a picture of it. Show your family. He's a nice, healthy little one. Probably eating cotton rats. Really pretty one, wow. Here's the dime back we just got out of the lady's yard. I forgot to grab a snake hook. Look how pretty it is. That's a nice one. I have on you. <laughs> so a lot of people ask us, why are the snakes not biting us, not attacking us? If you notice the entire time I caught her, released her, everything, I was incredibly gentle. The snake acted accordingly. So how you treat them a lot of times is how they're ending up treating you. And that's an oversimplification. If I were to be crazy and swinging sticks at her, jumping, making a lot of noise, it would have disturbed her more. I would have been more of a predator to her. So when we're handling snakes, I don't want to be putting them into a defensive position, which means acting like a predator. So when I go in gentle, docile, I'm just more of an annoyance. And that's not saying go pick up a snake. It just means that after years of experience, I've learned to read and understand their behaviors as far as keeping them out of defensive behavior or putting them into defensive behavior. We let her go. She's in no rush to go away. She's <laughs> acting like a pet snake. <laughs> there she goes. Words of encouragement, go. There she goes. And look, she's gone. Ooh, look how pretty the shed is looking. That's just from working. Move the trash for Taylor. Yeah, Don't worry. So ugly. Oh, I know there's like, we got to come and get all these out of the ground. Hey right, guys, tell me this isn't looking sexy. I don't know who's sexier, Red or the Shed. Oh, I don't so know who it is. <laughs> We've been putting a lot of work into this yes. in our free time. It has been a lot. It's hot in there. We don't have AC yet. Mm -hmm. uh, we've almost died like three times. You want to show everybody the so Tri-Sherry? Our Tri-Sherry, we paid extra to buy a pre-made door. <laughs> we were just so happy to do that. Then we realized it doesn't fit, so we had to cut it anyways. But tell me this doesn't look Yeah, you can't gorgeous. tell. We cut like uh, six inches off the door. Tell me. And then re-screened it and all that, so. I but it works, it's still good. It's, it's still. Really dirty. It is so wet here in South Florida. Everything <sighs> is like moldy and mildewy. I'm excited for winter, but yep. come on in. Let's go. You go ladies first. And this, this tri-sherry is actually a requirement by FWC. It is in case an animal escapes this door. So you have to close it, latch it. Oh, okay. Hold on. The water, that the way, water has yeah, in case when you open your next door, say a snake got out and it goes to escape, mm -hmm. boom, it can't because we've built seals, frames, screen, nothing. Not that a nothing, snake ever escapes. Exactly. But... Nothing's getting out. Oh, spider. You're so big, baby. Um, I threw that spider out there yesterday. Okay. So remember, it's just the two of us. Really, it's one and a half people. So it takes a long time for us to finish anything. Poor Rhett does a lot of it himself while I cry and complain oh, that I don't want to do it. But look, we, mostly Rhett, has insulated the whole... Oh, camera, come back. <laughs> has insulated the whole shed. It's gorgeous. Top it's to bottom. Beautiful. And then... Our quarantine room is all framed out, obviously not done, but framed out. And I know it doesn't sound like a lot, but we did two layers of insulation. So there's a layer of foam behind the R13. So we got electric, we got quarantine room framed out, we got tri-sherry done, we got insulation done. Now we're on to drywall and we're on to drywall and then AC. I would love an AC yeah. unit. I'll probably start here and then put the AC unit in, then continue the drywall once I get the AC. So tell us what you guys think of the new snake building so far. Isn't it gorgeous? So far we've done a snake call. We have showed you the new snake building updates. Now are you ready for the grand, what terrible lighting. Are you ready 
for the grand finale <laughs> of good. the new edition. Let's go. So last time we saw you, well not last time, but one of the last times, the yard was super flooded. You couldn't even see the ground here. The flooding actually killed all our ferns in the tortoise pen. I'm so sad. It does. It was so pretty and now... Now it's ugly, but it'll grow back. Yeah. But there is no flooding on the ground, but it is damn wet here. We've actually had a few tortoises hatch recently too. Hey girl. This is what I love about tortoises. They see you and they're like, hey, come here. Come here, my little puppy. Uh, we've been finding baby tortoises and eggs again. Look, it's not food. It's not food. Let's give you a head scratch. Oh, he's so good. You're a good dog. I love my little dogs. Oh, don't you give me that attitude. In my opinion, aside from the living forever, tortoises are some of the best reptile pets that you can have. And red foot tortoises are amongst the best tortoises there are. Like your butt scratched? Oh, that's the good spot right there. Oh, look, we have another dog coming here. Here, dog. Come here. We actually raised this one up from a tiny little hatchling. Come here, doggo, too. I'm gonna give you some scratchies. Ba bad dog. Hey, no biting. Okay, this is a mean dog. Hey. Okay. Okay, so we're all cleaned up. We're all cute, especially red. And we're excited <laughs> to show you the new edition finally. Are you guys ready? You have waited long enough, I think, maybe. <laughs> Dehumidifier. Uh, we are like putting all our effort into the other building. Uh, mm -hmm. We're still loving to take care of our animals, but the uh, shed. We're not. We don't really want to show you much. It's looking a little messy. The animals are good. The cages are good, but the rest of it ain't cute. But the new <laughs> shed will be cute. So just don't even judge us yet. I, I'm excited mostly about the new shed for lighting because the lighting in here is pretty bad. Anyways, let's go. Wait before we show you what's in this blah 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 blah. Before we show you what's in this box, stay tuned till after because I'm doing my would you rather and you have to answer it. Okay, now I can show you. Red is behind the camera because no one wants to see him. Oh. So let's move on to the main event. Uh -huh. Sir, your foot is curled. What are you doing? It's a chunky lizard. He's doing, oh look, he's doing that. Are you ready to get him out? Hold on, buddy. Don't be angry. Okay, everyone, so here is our little Gila monster. Tell me he isn't a little chubby cutie guy. I love Look him. him. An older gentleman actually gave him to us because he's getting out of the venomous hobby and he just wanted him to go to a good home. And of course, we are that home. And it's so funny. Taylor keeps getting all these cool animals and I said, I just want a cool venomous species. And I've been talking about wanting a lizard too. Go. And look at this. And he got one. Yeah, and I gotta say, I love our Gila monster. He is a little chubster, so I'm getting him nice and thick. He's gonna have a beautiful big cage in our new snake building. Right now, you know, he's in a good cage, but it's gonna be better. And we don't have a name yet. Give me some names, so let's do this. Gila monsters are venomous lizards found in arid deserts of, there's quite a few places, New Mexico, Mexico, Arizona, Utah, and even a tiny little part of California. Although Taylor and I have done several trips out to Arizona, the only times I haven't seen Gila monsters has been with... With me. I've never seen a wild one. It's been very upsetting. I've seen five wild ones. So this little guy is actually 14 years old, but they've been known to live 35 plus years in captivity. So hopefully we'll have them for a very long time. As adults, they can get 18 to 23 inches long and three to five pounds. And he's probably a good two pounds. So he's yeah. getting up there. He can get a little bit bigger. He's going to be three to five pretty soon. I'm going to give him a nice solid five. The diet consists of mammals, frogs, lizards, birds, and eggs. So here we feed him quail eggs, chicken eggs, and of course, little dead birdies and rodents. <laughs> he's such a squiggle squiggle. Well, he's not used to being handled. We yeah. gotta get him a little bit more used to that. So turn him into our puppy dog. Take a look at his claws. Well, first he's waving. And then we're gonna take a look at those claws. Yeah, say hi, say okay. Their claws are actually very important because that way they can dig burrows to hide from predators and the heat and also to dig out bird nests or other egg nests to eat. Gila monsters are actually considered near threatened just because our population is decreasing so much from habitat loss and also poaching. Look at his face. He just looks so unimpressed. Uh -oh. oh, look, look, look. Oh, the, uh, here, I'm gonna come in. Oh, here, you can't go. just walk into a venomous lizard rat. Look, the, the blue, uh, the Komodos are sitting here watching you. Look at those beauties. So you can see here his big fat like cheeks and chin. That is actually his large venom gland. It's on both sides. 
and the way that they bite into their prey and they chew and then the venom is released into that bite wound causing the prey to die so then he could eat it. It's really cool. They have a primitive delivery system where a snake has a hollow fang attached to a venom gland that gets injected directly into the bloodstream. Not with these guys. Gila monsters were not considered fatal until recently. This year, 2024, there was the first ever recorded Gila monster fatality. Uh, unfortunately, the person who was bitten had the lizard on his hand for up to four minutes he could not get it off. He also had many different health issues in causing his body not to be able to fight off the venom. A bite from one of these guys is not considered fatal, especially for a healthy human, but the bite still isn't good. It is very painful, it reduces your blood pressure, and it can cause internal bleeding. So it's still not a good bite to get, but there is no anti-venom on hand for a Gila monster. A fun little side fact, I'm sure everyone recently has heard of Ozempic, very popular right now. A component of the venom in the Gila monster helped to make that medication along with other type 2 diabetes treatment medications. So these guys are saving lives? Is that what you're telling me? Saving lives. Gila monsters are saving lives. They're doing it. So they're only responsible for one fatality, yet they, they help. They saved hundreds. Probably millions. Thousands, millions. Millions. There's tons of people with diabetes. We know people on the Ozempic. So if you take Ozempic, you can say thank, thank you. Him. Yeah. Not him, but thank his family. Okay, I know you thought you all got out of the Would You Rathers by me, but before we go, we gotta know, would you rather drink out of his toilet bowl water, like a cup of it, or a cup of my toilet bowl water. Brett, what would you rather? Pick one. Pick one. Okay, okay. Yeah. And then yeah. one more. One more. Would you rather him bite you on the? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> would you rather him bite you on the finger or drink my toilet bowl water? Either way, <laughs> the toilet bowl water is getting there. So pick out of those two. What would you pick? No, because that like you're gonna spend money at the hospital and stuff. Probably. No, I'm gonna cry no, in the bed. I'm gonna no, cry. No, no, no. No, no, no. Okay, guys, tell him it is. Otherwise, thank you for staying tuned this long. I hope you enjoyed Gila Monster, Snake Shed Update, and our EDB relocation. Yeah, and we have an EDB that's about to give birth. One of yes. our captive ones. So stay tuned. We'll see you next time.